So good morning, my dear students of DRR Government Polytechnic. So I am Nazneen, and I shall be taking up this subject, green computing, for you all, for the students of fifth semester computer science and engineering of DRR Government Polytechnic, Tamangir. So the first chapter is about green IT and overview. So after completing this chapter. you will be able to discuss green it with its different dimensions and strategies so that will be the course outcome we shall be achieving when we complete this first unit so on that thought let's begin so you can see that the first the, the subject name is green computing whereas the chapter name is green it we all know it stands for information technology so here after there will be <coughs> we will be using green it not computing exactly or maybe in further chapters we'll be using green computing so don't get confused so both these words are one and the same they are referring to the same thing but we shall know why there are two different words in our next slide so as you can see what is green computing and what is green it information technology so basically green computing is about a study it is a collection of concepts what kind of concepts so those concepts they deal with the usage of computers in an eco friendly way all right uh, not only usage also the concepts of how to design how to manufacture the computer or computing devices in general so that they are not affecting the environment the design process should not affect the environment or the usage or manufacturing process should not affect the environment we all know how to design or how to manufacture but these concepts add on to the <coughs> knowledge of how to do that without affecting the environment so these are basically the study or the concepts of such things so that you don't affect the environment while you are doing your computing whereas what is green i information technology is if you are applying green computing in your information technology field then it is the information technology field becomes the green information technology so the it becomes green it if you apply green computing well when when you are applying computing it is just it but when you apply green computing it becomes green it that is the field of information technology wherein you practice the green computing concepts so that the environment is not affected by the it operations what are different it operations will be there um, again designing manufacturing disposing of computers so all computer related products so their usage manufacture design and also until their disposition we should not affect the environment in any of these processes or in any of these it operations so if you are using green computing in the information technology field the it becomes green it so this is to sum up the slight difference between the two concepts that is green computing and green it so in general you can say green computing is the study of eco friendly computing concepts and if you apply green computing in it that is the practice of green computing uh in it field where you will where else you will practice you have to practice it in the information technology field because that is the field which deals with all the computer and computer related devices so there is there is what computing is present so if you make that computing a green computing one then the it becomes green it so that is the slight difference between the two terms i hope i am clear with this concept and here after you should not get confused whenever i say green it or green computing basically i'm referring to the same concept and the main idea here is do whatever you want to do with the computer just don't affect the environment or at least reduce the effect on the environment that is the whole and sole idea of greening this computing concept okay moving ahead so that is what we'll be dealing with throughout this uh subject that's why i made that point clear before i could start ahead with the actual contents of this unit so these are the actual contents of the unit so first thing is we'll have a brief introduction on green computing and then what are the environmental concerns and how can we have a sustainable development 
um, the impacts on the environment from IT and how you can make it green and where are the different specifically we'll deal with the approaches we have so that we can green the IT field and how we are exactly already doing it and how we can apply it so that environmentally we can sustain our resources and what are the standards even there are standards specified so that everybody starts practicing these uh, computing concepts and enterprise green IT strategy where are, what are the different strategies in the business uh, world where the people are following to stay in the business and uh, lastly we'll understand whether green IT is a burden to us or is it an opportunity okay so starting off with the introduction that is what is green IT so I told you already so green IT or green uh, information technology here you can see I have specified that it is also known as green computing because hereafter we will be dealing with one or the other term so we are basically referring to the same thing okay so what is the main idea the main idea is to minimize the effect on the environment the negative effect on the environment while you're doing your computing job that is called as green IT or green computing so the practice of environmentally sustainable computing is called as the green IT so what is the purpose why we have to follow why we have to minimize the negative effects <clears throat> so we can see that uh, if we are impacting the environment uh, while designing also will there will be some process of you know raw material usage or mining etc and also you will dispose some waste products after the designing process or manufacturing process that will go into the environment and while you are operating your devices may radiate heat or the kind of setup they require that require that has some effect on the environment so uh, and and when the computer it becomes useless or it's of over the years it has rotten then you will mi you might be disposing it off and where it will go and what it will do to the environment or to the earth or land surface in general so that is uh, the purpose of greening it is to minimize the negative effects whenever you are doing these kind of operations whatever negative effects they are doing towards the environment if we can minimize those effects that is the whole and sole idea or the main idea or aim of greening this IT. Okay, that is the purpose of a green IT. Minimize the negative effects on the environment with the operations of IT. So, I'd like you to clearly understand, like they say, uh, a picture is worth a thousand words. I'd like you to see this small uh, video and try to understand what's happening around the world and why we have come up with this topic of greening the IT. Let us see this small video. Our grand blue planet, giant in size, with oceans. This is it, our grand blue planet, giant in size, with oceans stretching wide. There are some problems with it. Most of these we know, like pollution, waste and the polar caps melting, causing water levels to grow. Is this it? This is IT, brilliant technology that most of us use to see this planet and its colors, formulate emails to others, stay connected with friends or updated on brand new trends but here's a problem that escalates day by day it products demand a pretty complex supply chain but right now the chain is broken the ends don't meet we need a proper circular approach you see it that is to say it requires resources like conflict minerals tiny rare stones needed to create basically every single one of our computers or phones so workers need to dig in but it's not really a win-win because the people excavating these resources are not doing so well and the more we buy the more we need and the more e-waste just piles up but how do we solve this problem how do we do the right thing by circling cycling reusing and recycling actually spiraling responsibly manufacturing to prevent products from dying see it's all about the little things the things we do to see life through we've all messed up but if we don't give our kids the chance to mess up too to screw up their first date to win a race to break down barriers we never thought we could break then what use are we anyway tco certificate 
Justified makes sure every organization out there can set things straight. Well, really, circulate their IT products, giving them that same choice, the chance to make use of their voice. Now for some reiteration. TCO Certified is a world-leading sustainability certification, constantly updating parameters and criteria so the industry can sign off on a better life. A sweet little taste saying zero mountains of waste. A wham bam, let's live it forever, Mr. and Ma'am. It's TCO certified, delivering an ITKO bona fide, an IT technical knockout, a left hook pop out, taking every step that need be to protect our future with IT. So, this is it. So that was a small video so as to understand why this green IT matters. I hope uh, you have a clear idea now what we are actually talking about. So another small video as to how you can do your bit. So you can see this is what the world is doing at large. You as an individual are also every day are using computing concepts. Take for example the mobile phone or any computing devices, laptops, computers, right? So what you can do to contribute towards greening this IT field. Let's see another small video. Using computers more often? Computers are of great help to us. We use these often as we check our emails and other online services. By using computers, we use power. We use energy. And as we use energy, we spend money to pay for it. Which is better? Leave it turned on or off? It is advisable to turn off your computers at the end of each day, especially when it is not in use. Leaving the computer turned on all day would consume more wattage, which results to wasted energy and money. Use some energy-saving techniques such as turning off the monitor if you are not going to use the computer for more than 20 minutes. You can also turn off the whole system if it will not be used for more than 2 hours. This way, we can conserve energy and cut down utility bills. Okay, so the idea is whether you want to leave it turned on or switch it off. Conserving energy and hence saving on your bills, right? So that's how you can contribute towards green IT and also your computer will, uh, you know, uh, start functioning better or it might even work uh, for later times for you. Maybe you're using it for two years. Maybe by this practice it will uh, be of work uh, workable uh, situation for you for about four years maybe you will double its uh, sustainability with you right so these are the little little practices which you can do that is what we are going to talk about throughout this subject i hope you have another clear idea as to how you as an individual or you as an it person can contribute to this green it okay so what are the benefits we are going to have if we follow green it okay First things first, uh, the green IT is going to benefit the env environment. That's a very clear thing for you by now. And by that, you will be benefited. If your environment, if the earth is getting better also, we humans can have a better life, isn't it? So how it will help the environment? What are the benefits the environment will have? First thing is improving energy efficiency. You will be using the energy resources responsibly and hence you'll be saving it and saved energy can be used for another device right so energy efficiency is improved if we follow green IT concepts and we have these things called as greenhouse gases emissions right so our devices could be emitting these greenhouse gases which may lead to greenhouse effect that I shall we shall discuss in detail in further slides uh, those greenhouse gases emissions can be lowered and hence we can protect the environment uh, using less harmful materials say for example if you're using a computer wisely responsibly uh, you might use it for longer than actually what you plan for say you might have planned for five years you might be using it for seven eight years right so with that what happens 
Well, the usage of harmful materials which might be used to design another computer will be reduced. And also encouraging reuse and recycling. So if you apply this green IT, what happens? We will be um, encouraging the reusage and also recycling of the waste mat uh, products or waste materials when you dispose of a computer. Not just throw it away, we have to recycle it. And cost saving, obviously you will be saving a lot of money if you switch it off, you will be saving on energy bills and also buying a few things will be reduced if you can use them. If, it, if the thing is working well, why would you go for another one, right? So your cost savings will be done um, and uh, longer lasting computer devices and less e-waste. Hence, like I told earlier, if your computer is working for a longer time, you will not be throwing it away early. And hence you will be minimizing on the e-waste. Improved corporate and social image. This is if the corporates or the IT companies, if they follow this greening IT, then their uh, corporate or social image is improvising, right? Many are uh, like the, we saw the TCO certified uh, devices, right? So the manufactured uh, devices from TCO, they have followed green IT concepts in their design manufacturing methods and also with the way uh, they are designed. I mean the devices itself are energy efficient devices so companies are opting for such devices and uh, the everyday IT operations are greened now where they are following green green computing in every step so with that their social image is uh, improved okay you can see that in the picture it's just highlighted uh, we have good reputation and they are all proudly standing uh, as an employee in the company because we have good reputation we are not just computing we are doing green computing okay students so in the next class we'll be trying to understand what are the environmental impacts on the IT so with that thought I'd like to stop on today with the benefits of green IT in this first session let's take a break and uh, next we'll be dealing with the environmental impacts of IT today we shall be stopping on benefits of green IT I'll see you in the next session this is Nazneen signing off